Hello everyone, my name's Andrew, this is my friend Chris, and we're Jayco's resident caravan enthusiasts. And today we're going to uh, bring you some tips and tricks on how to maintain your caravan or camper while it is unfortunately parked up in your backyard. Um, obviously with the holidays coming up and not being able to go away, it's a great opportunity to get out there and do some maintenance on your on your RV. Now Chris, you had some holidays booked coming up in the Easter and in the middle of the year, what did you have to do there? I did, Andrew. Unfortunately I've had to postpone those. Um, and I say postponed, I haven't cancelled them. Um, so just push them back to later in the year, if not next year. Um, so what a great time to do some maintenance to my caravan. Yeah, absolutely. Now what, uh, what caravan have you got? I live in Jaco Adventure. Sure. How old is that? Three years. Fantastic. So it's a perfect opportunity to get out and maintain that, uh, that van. What would be the first thing you do? Uh, first thing I do, Andrew, is check the tyre pressures. Yep. Um, now your tyre pressures for your cold and also your hot temperatures are listed on your in plate or plenty van. Lovely. Now we've got one of these uh, compressors in front of us that you can use, otherwise you can head down to your local service station where you can pull, pull into a parking bay um, that, and they've got the compressors there to, to check your tyres. Obviously the importance of uh, checking your tyre pressures is to make, make sure that you don't have any unnecessary wear and tear on those vans and, and avoid blowouts. Now the next thing on, on your maintenance list, around the wheels, obviously we've got our uh, uh, wheel nuts there. Uh, wheel bearings for you. Yep. Um, and also your uh, wheel nuts uh, yep. are very important. Yep. So absolutely. just make sure they're they're talked. Yep. Absolutely talk those up. So uh, while we're outside the bed and, and just making sure we're all safe as we're travelling on the road, there's obviously other things there. Just checking the, the coupling. We've got our lights as well that we need to check. Hundred yep. percent. So you just do a walk around, make sure all of those work obviously connected to your tow vehicle. Yep. Absolutely. Now let's. Uh, Let's get the buckets out and uh, start washing the, the caravan. Obviously, it's just like your car. You need to maintain the caravan and make sure it's all spick and span. And we um, do like a squeaky clean caravan. Absolutely. So what would you check as you walk around? Before you, you got the suds out, what would you check on the outside of the van? You've obviously got the windows, the seals, that sort of thing. Yep, absolutely. I'd make sure that all the vents are closed, all the windows are closed, because yep. the last thing you want to do is when you're washing your caravan, find that you've left a window open. Um, or a roof patch. I know that's right, you don't want to get uh, water in. Now we've got some products here in front of us that, uh, that you can use to, to maintain the outside of the, the van, including the awning there, you've got the awning cleaner. Yep, uh, and, and the wash and wax as yep. well. Yep. Absolutely, so then you've got uh, some products there that we recommend, and, and if you bought a new caravan from Jayco recently, you would have received a couple of these products in the yep. van. So you've got your 3M products, which uh, are recommended by us, so you've got your, your polish and also your wax obviously need you to buy after you've cleaned the van. Now just talking about cleaning the van, uh, we've got here um, a brush in front of us. Now when washing your caravan you want to make sure that you use a really soft bristled brush, uh, that way you're not going to scratch any of your windows. Absolutely, it's nice and soft there, so you're not going to scratch the windows or front, uh, front perspex as well, 100%, things like the silver line. So inside the caravan, we've, we've looked at everything on the outside. We'll jump inside the, the caravan now, or the camper. Um, we've got things that you can you can replace and maintain throughout. A lot of new caravans now have got water filters on board. Uh, in the front there, we've got a, a water filter cartridge. So this is yep. So if we recommend every twelve months that you replace your cartridge in your water filter. Um, that way, it keeps all all the water that you're getting through your tap uh, nice and clean. Um, and you know you've got some decent drinking water and just not relying on the caravan pump. Absolutely, and a product like that you can pick up from RV Parts Express online. Yeah, yeah. Or one of our Jayco dealerships as well. Um, you've got uh, some cassette cleaner. So a lot of our torts there are from Vet Food. We've got the cassette cleaner to, uh, to give that a clean because you don't want that to, to sit unused for too long. Yeah, no, that's not, uh, no, not ideal. No. So you've got the, the cleaner there, you can get in and you give the uh, yeah, the tool and a yep. nice, nice wash through. Um, now talking about cleaning things, yep. uh, water tanks, fresh water tanks. It's extremely important to flush your water tanks um, every six to 12 months. Okay, so dump all your water out of your water tank, give them a good flush. Now the other thing is a lot of vans now have grey tanks, okay? So the best way to maintain your grey tank is obviously dump all the water out of that and then pour some white vinegar down the sink uh, and let it sit. Have to kill any germs and obviously it smells. Fantastic. Yeah, certainly, we're living in a world at the moment where we want to keep everything clean, obviously, um, with the, the virus that's going around. So, we want to make sure that the, the caravan's clean as well. And we're not, uh, not putting any undue harm to ourselves from, uh, from those tanks, and in particular the grey water tank. 
Throughout the caravan, we've got obviously the electrical system on there um, that has all the, all the fuses and everything like that. It's a good opportunity to go through and check all the fuses um, in, your, in your control system, usually found under the bed or the, or the seat. Um, you can go through and check all that. Is there anything else that you, you check over while you're, when you're getting around the van without you know, obviously sleeping out for the night out in the backyard? You just want to step and stick to the job there, Chris. I know how much you love caravanning. <laughs> well, what better time to sleep in your caravan? Well, no, you true, can't yeah. go caravanning. Why not camp in the driveway? Exactly. Around the backyard. Yeah. Bit of fun. Yeah. yeah. Still take the kids, you know, take the kids out if you've got a family van and all the partner out. You can go, you know, park up out in the, out in the backyard and still pretend that you're, you're in a caravan park. Um, so just back to your question, Andrew, I think um, one of the most important things, there's only so many things that a customer can check for themselves. Um, it is 100% important that um, every RV is serviced like you would a car. Um, you know, you've got brakes, you've got wiring, you've got gas. Uh, these are these are fundamental um, items within a caravan. They do need servicing, they do need checking, um, and there's nothing better than getting your authorised JCO dealer uh, to check over your caravan. So a great time to book in your van for service. Absolutely. Yeah, we've only touched, we've only really scratched the surface as far as uh, maintaining your caravan. Like Chris said, there's a lot more to it that uh, need to be attended to by an authorised repairer. Head over to jaco.com.au, you'll be able to find your, your nearest repairer, whether it be a Jaco dealership or one of our authorised repairers. We do have over 100 of them all over Australia, so we certainly do, you know, we don't have one too far away from you, um, and you'll be able to find one on there. Anything else we can add, Chris? No, I think that's it. Probably. You're not going to start crying because you can't go away for the no, next no, no, no. I've got You're plenty, okay. I've keeping got, it together? I've got plenty of work ahead of me. Absolutely. All right, well, thanks for joining us, thanks for watching, and uh, please tune in to the next video. Cheers.